going to be for the adductor pollicis. Uh, th what this is going to be doing is, um, this is going to be for um, adducting or thumb movement uh, towards the index finger. So if I isolate the metacarpal here and what she's, put your plier resistance against the uh, proximal phalanx and she's going to uh, go kind of squeeze the webbing bet towards the, the index finger. That's uh, adductor uh, pollicis, ADD. The next one is going to be for the abductor, ABD, abductor pollicis brevis. So this is going to be movement away from the index finger, away from the midline. Um, so again, uh, by stabilizing the um, metacarpal, uh, she's going to be moving in the outward direction against the resistance to the um, proximal phalanx, okay, and to abduction. So the next one that we're going to be doing is uh, uh, flexion. Uh, go ahead. Uh, a flexor pollicis uh, longus. Uh, Again, this is for the thumb, and the longus is going to attach to the distal phalanx, so I'm going to stabilize the proximal phalanx, and I'm going to apply my uh, resistance again. Uh, if you wanted to do it against gra gravity, you can do that too. Um, she's going to be uh, bending just the tip of the finger uh, against my resistance. Go slow. Okay, and then for the flexor pollicis brevis, she's going to be um, flexing the uh, proximal phalanx, so you're going to stabilize the metacarpal, the first metacarpal bone, and applying your resistance against uh, uh, an extension while she tries to flex that uh, b that bone down. Okay, let, me, let me see. I go this way. Here we go. I go down. Uh, go on this way. One more. And that's flexor pollicis brevis. We also have extensor pollicis longus. Uh, so for this one, again, you always stabilize the distal phalanx and the resistance is going to be, a, excuse me, you stabilize the proximal phalanx and the resistance is going to be against the distal phalanx uh, into flexion while she extends the, the distal phalanx. Go up against the resistance. And then to do the extensor pollicis brevis, you're going to stabilize the metacarpal bone, first metacarpal bone, while you apply uh, downward resistance into flexion against the proximal phalanx while she pulls it up into extension. Okay, one more. And that's ex uh, extensor pollicis brevis. Okay, the next, uh, next manual muscle testing is going to be for the um, abductor digiti minimi. So this, again, it's ABD, so this is going to be movement uh, away fr for the fifth, fifth digit here. Um, so I'm going to stabilize uh, the fifth metacarpal. Oh, go ahead and go down here. And she's going to be moving uh, away, away from her uh, fourth finger. Okay. Into abduction. Abductor Pollicis or abductor digiti minimi. Uh, we also have a, a flexor uh, digiti minimi, again for the same, the fifth uh, finger. And for this one, all she's going to be doing is she's going to be, um, you can apply your resistance to any of the uh, proximal, middle, or uh, distal phalanx or all at once. And sh what she's going to be doing is going to be uh, flexing uh, that muscle while you stabilize the. Uh, go ahead. Uh, fifth meta metacarpal bone. Next one that we're going to be doing is going to be for the palmaris longus muscle and for this one uh, we're going to have again have her 90 degrees flexion at the elbow and what she's going to do for this one is she's going to kind of cup her hands together and she's going to be doing um, uh, uh, wrist flexion. Let me, go ahead, let me go ahead and have you turn a second towards me. And then what she's going to be doing is she's going to be uh, flexing her, her wrist up in that position while the resistance is being applied uh, to the wrist. So you're holding it in hyperextension and then she's going to 
flex. Okay. And that's Palmaris longus. Uh, the next one is going to be <coughs> extensor digitorum. For this one, um, the, uh, again, she can be at 90 degrees. And for this one, what she's going to do is she's going to um, kind of curl her fingers in so that your resistance is going to be uh, kind of against the uh, proximal interphalangeal joint. Um, I actually go, go down a little bit more. Against the uh, metacarpal phalangeal joint. And what she's going to do for this one is she's going to come up into a wrist extension. Again, you can stabilize it here, or if she's on a table, you can just hold it, hold it down. So she's bringing the, the, the whole wrist back um, in this position. And that's the extensor digitorum. The next one that we're going to do is going to be the flexor digitorum uh, superficialis. And for this one, you're just going to have her have her, her palm flat, not cup. And you're going to put her in a, a little bit of, in hyperextension. Uh, again, you can stabilize the distal forearm or have her at the table. And you're going to apply your resistance uh, to the fingers, uh, not the thumb for this one. Go ahead. Your, your whole hand. So this is flexion at the wrist and at the, the fingers. So she can also uh, curl her fingers if you needed to into flexion. Uh, that's the uh, flexor uh, digitorum superficialis. That's it.